Hello, hello. Welcome back or welcome if you are new. So today's video is a video that I have not made in a long time. So as you can tell from the title, it is going to be a hit or miss of the products that I've been using lately. But lately I have been trying quite a few different products out and I wanted to give an update on some of them and whether I think that they are hits or misses. So I actually have quite a few products that I've been going through the last month, month and a half or so, and I'm here to spill the tea. I'm here to tell you guys what I think about it, if it's good, if it's not, depending on what my experience was, and if I will be continuing to use it. Before we begin though, I would love if you could subscribe to the channel, join this little family, become one of my besties, join in the fun of all the craziness that is this channel. Anyways, let's get started. So surprisingly, I'm going to be starting off with a miss. I never thought I would be having a CeraVe product on a miss category, but here we are. So this is the CeraVe Renewing SA Lotion. This is like their newer version of their lotion. The reason I bought this was because I used to buy the tub version and I would use that on my body because I think I have keratosis pilaris, so it's just like bumps on my arms and my legs, and that would really help exfoliate the bumps and keep my skin looking cute, flawless, and amazing. It's been like two years plus since they've released the product, and I started to see that these were on the shelves instead, so I decided to pick it up and then just try it on my body, see how it went, but it is exactly as I thought it was going to be. It is more formulated for your face. It did nothing for my body. I would used it for about a week straight, and usually after a day or two, I do see some type of textural difference. I saw no difference with this product. When I use it on my face, there is definitely some exfoliation for my face, but I have other products that I actually prefer over this, um, so I guess it's just kind of useless for me. So it does work if you're looking for something for the face, but for me, I only strictly got this for the body, and so I'm gonna just be using this up here and there if I run out of my exfoliators. I don't plan on repurchasing this ever again for my face or my body, only because I have better options for my face, and I have now a better option for my body. And I'm really bummed that CeraVe hasn't come back out with it because I was religiously buying this tub, and yeah, I'm just, I'm not happy with CeraVe right now when it comes to that cream. Now onto a hit. I have here the KP Smoothing Body Lotion with 10% AHA from First Aid Beauty, and this is a newer launch. They have a very popular exfoliant from this line that is very good for keratosis polaris, and so I decided to pick it up, and I've used it now two or three days, and I can already see the difference in the tone, the texture, and the bumps are already going away. So quick and easy, I definitely really, really like this. I have not tried their other products that are 4KP, but if you're somebody who has constant like strawberry skin, chicken skin, or just bumps on your arms, your legs, anywhere on your body that you feel like it's becoming an ongoing problem, I definitely recommend trying out their KP Smoothing Lotion. It is very good, and to be honest, it's almost around the same price as the CeraVe one anyway. So give it a try, tell me what you think about it, but for me, is a hit. I really like this. To be honest, I don't think there is a lot of misses in the categories today, but this is definitely a hit for me. And this is the Inkyless Vitamin BCE Moisturizer, and this is just a kind of creamier, almost like a gel-like moisturizer on their website. Like, it's one of their more affordable moisturizers. So I decided to give it a try. I just wanted like a general moisturizer for my face, for my skin. And I'm very glad I tried it out because this keeps my skin very plump, hydrated, and looks very even and clean. And it pairs very well with other skincare products. So, so far as like a regular moisturizer, the just to keep my skin hydrated, I've really been liking this one and I plan to repurchase this maybe two at a time just to make sure I have it in stock. The final skincare product, which is another Inculus product, which I cannot say enough great things about this, is the Oat Cleansing Balm. And I use this strictly to remove makeup from my face. I love this. This has now replaced any type of coconut oil or the grapeseed oil I used to buy from number seven. This is just so gentle. I can use it in my eyes without it irritating my eyes. And I have very sensitive eyes, by the way. And this just gets everything off. It soothes my face and moisturizes it at the same time, comes off clean with water. And then I go in with my cleanser and everything is super quick and easy. And may I add, the size of this tube is massive. And I've been using this almost every day. 
and I barely made a dent into this. So this gets like a two thumbs up for me. If you are somebody who wants to remove your makeup very easy and you have very sensitive skin, very sensitive eyes, especially if you have dry skin, this is great. Some people use it as a cleanser as well, but for me, I like to use this just as a makeup remover, but this is amazing and I'm obsessed with this. Now on to the makeup products. So next is the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation. So this was going to be a little bit of a controversial thing for me because I tried it before, it was too full coverage, made it too cakey and like too mattifying on my face. But then after using it again with a more fluffy brush and going very light, I find that I actually like the way that this sets my face. And again, you just have to get the correct shade for yourself. But I just wanted to come back and follow up from that video and say that I do like it. Just get the correct shade, get a lighter, fluffier brush for your face, and then go right ahead. But I really, really like this, and I just wanted to come back and give a quick update on that. Moving along quickly, because it is raining outside and I have no idea when it's gonna get dark again, uh, next is the Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation from Essence, and it has hyaluronic acid and aloe vera. So this is a 50-50 hit and a miss for me. The reason I'm saying that is because it depends on your skin and what coverage you like. If you're somebody who wants full coverage, this is going to be a miss. This is not full coverage. It is very, very, very thin, light coverage. The real point of this foundation or tint is just for it to be natural, as the title says. So it is very thin. It is moisturizing. I didn't get any reaction on my skin from it. You can build it up, but it's again, it's very sheer. It's very natural. And I definitely recommend powdering down this because it can be overly dewy, which if you don't like that look, don't go for it. But if you're somebody who likes a natural look or very light coverage, this will be a hit for you. So it's kind of like a 50-50 for me. Okay, onto two brow products that have really impressed me and I don't know where I've been. So the next product that I've been super impressed with is the NYX, the brow glue. Just like the name says, it is a actual brow glue. So this has managed to keep my brows down, flat. They are not going anywhere with this product. And I've heard a bunch of good things about it, but I was like, oh, I don't know. Like my brows are really stubborn. I really don't think it's gonna keep them down. Boy, was I wrong. I use a very, very small amount of this, by the way, and it keeps them in place and they're not going anywhere. So for me, this is great. And I was starting to think if they could come out with like a tinted version of this, this would sell out. Because if it still has the strong hold power of this, but has a little bit of color, I would be the first one to buy, it. let's just say that. So this is 100% a hit for me. And then the second product, which is also from NYX, it is their Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. I am like the last person on the planet Earth to jump on the bandwagon for this, but I got this in the shade Ash Brown. First of all, I love how small and precise the applicator is for the tip of this and i love this so much only because the product comes out very very thin very very light nothing like no intense color payoff for it and that way you're able to like stroke in hair like strokes and you're able to get your brows to look very clean very natural and very pretty i guess and yeah i don't know what made me not want to try this out sooner than i did but i'm glad i did and this is like an amazing brow product and honestly, these are like the only things I use now. I will use the glue, lay it down, and then I'll use this only because I'm trying to grow my brows out. And I'm actually fine with them not looking like Instagram baddie perfect, where it's like perfectly shaped, perfectly lined. I don't care for me anymore. As long as they're natural looking and they look good, they look decent, then I'm good with my brows. Like I'm happy about it. And for the pen specifically, I love this. Like this has made my brows look totally different and made my brow application a lot faster and easier. Next is a fragrance. Um, I will come back to the final makeup product, but I got this as a sample. It is the Tom Ford Bitter Peach. Um, so this is a fragrance and I'm somebody who likes lighter scents, fresh citrus, jasmine, like stuff like that. Um, and I can like a little bit of spice, but this... I'm usually not that picky with fragrance. Like, I can be picky, but this is not, this is not good. This, I don't like. I looked at the reviews and a lot of people thought that it was not that good. I don't smell peach. There's no note of peach in this. There, I don't even know what it is. Mind you, 
And the only good thing I will say is that this is very strong. I sprayed it on me once just to try it. I didn't like it, but it stayed on me all day. I could smell it on my arm all day. So the lasting power is great. If you are someone who likes more mature scents, if you are somebody who likes the more bold scents, um, this is not sweet at all. I think you might like this. I definitely recommend try this out in store first. For me, this is a miss. This is not anywhere close to like anything I like. Not even a small hint of sweetness of peach. It's honestly, I don't know what this smells like. I let my mother smell this because she likes more mature fragrances, which like she's very much somebody who likes Coco Chanel, like number four, number five. Like she smelt this and even she was like, no. So I'm just saying that to preface, please smell this before you purchase a bottle. On to the final product, which this is totally random, but it is another sample I got. And again, I am late to the game. I am the last person on the planet to try this product out. It is the Laura Mercier setting powder. And this is just in the shade translucent. It sets it beautifully. The color is nice. Um, didn't crease weird. It stays on, like as you can see on my face. It looks nice, looks good. Sets it, forget it, go on with your day. You look great, you're looking beautiful, you know? I understand why people really like this. So, two thumbs up for me, really good setting powder. Will I purchase the full size? Not sure, only because I have some drugstore options that are a fraction of the price and they work just as good, if not better but I can still appreciate it. It is still a very good powder. Anyways, I think that is it for the hit or miss haul or review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like this video so that I know you guys enjoyed the content and it also helps out the algorithm with me on YouTube quite a bit so that it gets shared around for other people to see. Anyways, I hope you have a good rest of your day wherever you are. It is raining over here in Toronto, so I'm just going to be sitting inside and watching the rain. But I, nonetheless, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day wherever you are and I will see you guys at my next video very soon. Bye. Thank you.